Okay, Debbie. You got this. Fishing. Oh good, a metaphor. You might want to once in a while, you know, just say what you want to say. <laughs> no, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. A metaphor about why he speaks of metaphors. <laughs> nice. See, the thing about fishing is you need the right I like red. Right rod. I thought the thing about fishing was patience. That's what you said last time. Well, patience ain't pertinent to this particular metaphor, kiddo. We're not <laughs> fishing for trout. We're fishing for shark. Shark that's likely to slither through the front door any minute. Could you please just stop with the metaphors and tell us what the bait is in the story? <laughs> Top tier already? uncle. Ten out of ten. Not what? Your mother. My mother? Mom's bait? Mm, like shark to blood, bad things are coming for her. It's instinct. They're drawn to her because of who she is and what she can do. They sense how important she is, and they want her gone. This is about Grandpa again, isn't it? It's always about Grandpa. It's not about him as much as what he left behind. My brother passed his gift on to Ami, and she'll pass it on to you. Great. Mom's bait and we're stuck like lobsters in a trap. My head's hurting from all the metaphors. I need my life to be simple again. So, who's the fishing rod in this story? <sighs> I'm obvious? feeling I'm feeling you, Akira. Yep. Oh, wait, me? Yep. Oh, it's, shit, okay, okay, that time I think it was directed at you. Man, poor poor Kyra though. She's stuck here and all she's got is a PS Vita. <sighs> oh man, that was twenty twelve. Yeah. Twenty twelve. <laughs> oh, that was not a good year, it... but not the worst year. <laughs> no. No, it was not. <laughs> We never should have diverted the end. Uh, give it time. Hey man, mine apocalypse would have been better. We could have got like some some quetzalcoatls out of that. Oh, I made I, I I did it. I made the dream catcher. Oh wow, it's just like back when I was in the Boy Scouts. Only this one might actually be magical. I'll have to test it. Yep, I'm, I'm doing the magic thing. All right. You got this. The last word you made worked great. Uh, okay. Oh, Jesus. You got human, like, look at their teeth. Or their beaks or whatever. Yeah. Everything I see about these things is just the worst thing. They have gi they have teeth in their gills. Uh, oh, well, damn! That was only a one-time use thing. Well, whatever. Well, you <sighs> gotta start somewhere. I mean, they're meant, you know, to like hang over your bed and ward off nightmares. It's like a low-tier use. This is gonna like burning out the spirit battery. I I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I mean, I may, I may be Greek, but somehow I'm whiter than you. Well, I'm Jewish. Okay, I think we're about even then. In the technically white. Yeah. Progress. Yep. Uh, are we fighting leprechauns now? No, I think this is just this is the gas that they let off, you know? Oh, God, you're walking through a cloud of a cob farts. Yep. Oh, Jesus. You have smelt it, and we have come to dealt it. Kind of crazy how I can now fire these things in the air and they come down like mortars. That... that is... Yeah, that is really fucking weird. I can't even understand that.
I mean, this is a shotgun. Yeah. It doesn't even make sense in like a metaphorical thing. I mean, like, you know, a pop culture thing. Why can't he just like fire them right at the bad guy's face? Or is it I Why do they come down at different times? I don't know. I just There are so many mysteries in this world. So many things about my powers don't make any damn sense. Oh, hey, the sleeping one. I better go kill. Alright. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's got the word Tenebris in its name. And also Blood Ravager. No, Brood Ravager. Brood Ravager. Okay, that's a little better. <laughs> Yeah, Tenebris Blood Ravager. That sounds like a sounds like a '90s character. I used to play bass for Tenebris Blood Ravager. <laughs> it actually was a '90s character. What? Well, no, sorry, just a guy. Well, just a guy named Tenebris, and also a guy named Darth Tenebris. Wow. <laughs> oh wait, that should be a new one. One of those things, you know, like said if I play bass for. Oh yeah, it should um, be a '90s character illustrated by Lot. Illustrated by Rob Liefeld. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, apparently, like in the in the old legends canon, uh, the master of Darth Plagueis the Wise was Darth Tenebrous. So this means Darth Dark. Dark, dark. <laughs> dark, dark. The goth cousin to Moon, Moon. Ah, jeez. Uh, Debbie, I just noticed, are you using... You, you're using, like, a pipe wrench. Yeah. A pipe wrench the size of your leg. Yeah, it's a, it's like a... It's an axle wrench. I mean, what... What are you, Jack Mc... Bioshock protagonist? Yeah, well, like... Bio Shockington? Stop it. Will you tell me what his name was? Well, I, I get what you're talking about. Just, it just, no, you're not... Oh, these pulsate. I think Ami, Ami wanted to meet me in here. How did she get in there? Walked? What, through the, the forest full of monsters? Point. Well, I don't know. Maybe she has. Maybe she has magic, right? Oh uh, yeah, right. Magic. That that's the explanation of everything. I keep forgetting. No, I'm not bitter. Did she just teleport in? Or okay, what what is what's that? What's that weird sparkly light effect? It's something she's doing. Uh. Oh wow, look it's a soldier, huh? Oh Jesus. Is the military here? I I don't know. I mean they might be. I mean it's good, you know. I mean, KG was trying to hold them back, but I don't know, timey wimey. Who knows? Yeah, see magic. Okay, she is apparently the Thor God of Thunder. Another dead soldier. My God.
So I make a bug hunt joke. I wasn't going to. Why would you th that's... Because I almost did. It'd be different if you said it. We remember, sweetling. We stand outside of time. We gather the bad memory waves trapped in the dream catchers, sweeter than pollen. A thousand years ago, and a thousand years before that, the Wabanaki shamans dance the containment dance. They know their holy land is a resting place for something sinister. Imprisoned there since the before, they know it will destroy the world. Well, that's, that's comforting. Thanks, Buzzing. I'm glad we know that. <sighs> Thank you too, Ami. I imagine last time she was here, there probably wasn't like the the the, the, the dripping things, the nasty things. Uh -huh. Why would I think there was a map here? Because you expect the world to be fair. They have tattered wings. What's up with that? Hmm. I don't know. I, I don't think insects can regrow their wings. It must have been... I don't know, some kind of... must have been some kind of fight before or something. And where else in the world do the Akab hide? They can lie dormant underground like hellish cicadas for centuries. They can flit between shadows more stealthy than their proportions should allow. Stay alert, sweetling. You will know they are near by a sensation. Like buzzing June bugs trapped under your eyelids. Holy shit. That sounds serious. Very. That is super serious. Okay, looks like she's taking care of this nest. What's she gonna do here? Oh, that. Of course. Of course she does the magic thing. Uh, I don't think they like that. Hey, get away from her. Come on, guys. Come after me. I'm the bait. Look at me. I'm a target. I'm a distraction! <laughs> oh no, everyone can see my bum! What? What's that one from? Zero punctuation. Oh yeah. <laughs> Jesus! How many of these are there? Oh wait, all of them. Yes. Everyone. All of them. I was just gonna say. Oh. If you have to ask, that's the answer. I don't know what she's even doing, but yeah, there's a funny story behind the behind the wrench. Yeah, I was just curious to see what I could attune to my anima and what I couldn't. So you just grabbed a wrench. I grabbed a wrench. Oh, Holy shit. shit! Oh my god! Oh, it's a queen. It's enormous, and she's on fire. Get away from her, you bitch! <laughs> Okay, so that aliens joke we can make. Yeah, that was fine. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh Jesus! Uh, you got a little, you got a little thing on you. Yeah, Ami. Yeah, you got some. <laughs> Did she just open this portal? She just walks away from you like be back at the store bitch that ain't no thing 
Yikes, remind me to pack the DEET if I ever have to come out there to oversee your assignment in person. Check that. Let's make sure that it's not ever going to happen. Hey, champ, anything that skitters is likely to fuck up my nails, and bad nails make me super annoyed. You were cute to hold that woman's hand inside the cave. I can only hope there's something in, f in it for us at the end of it. I'm sure there's more to her than meets the eye, so make sure to pay attention. At the very least, having someone out there owing you a favor can't be a bad deal. Wow. Just fucking wow. Are we surprised anymore by this? We're dismayed. I wonder if they were... She probably returned the dog tags to them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I wonder where they are. They must be... They can't be, uh... Can't be here. No, we would have found a... You know, an outpost or something. Yeah. So I guess it's uh, on the other side of the tunnel. Yeah. Oh boy. I mean, I thought I'd never have to deal with this again. Well, I'm, I think we still got some unfinished business around here to take care of. We, we don't gotta go there now. Yeah. Gonna have to work on that eventually. Welcome. Yep. We got a few live ones out here besides us in the schoolhouse. Damn lucky. Or unlucky, depending on your point of view. Take Eleanor Franklin. Keeping to herself in that empty Adams family mansion for years, stewing on bad blood. Well, sure as hell doesn't like the sight of me and my kin. Or anyone else for that matter, unless it's a cat. Damn shame. I hear she was a ray of sunshine in her day. But most everyone involved with that mind never comes away quite right. Hmm. Should probably check in on Eleanor Franklin. She might know something about this. Mm-hmm. Man doesn't write romances for a reason, the miserable bastard. We got bets on him coming out of this one with a story about saving the day. Maybe with an empowered Native American squeeze, too. You won't find him setting foot outside the <sighs> I'd just slide his food and booze under the door until he got his hands on a rifle. Now I leave it out of range, and he can bill me if it goes bad. How all of them escape <laughs> the fog, I don't know. I'd like to think there's rhyme and reason to it all. But I suspect it's just pure awful luck. That sounds about right. Apparently, right. mom's some kind of Wabanaki superwoman. Who knew? Okay, so she's pretty impressive. Obsessed with yeah. rituals and traditions. Damn Dad good. Hmm. Made him so mad. My mom and him kept fighting over it. I thought it was just superstition. I guess there's a lot more to it, and she started teaching me about all that stuff. It's pretty cool. I suppose I just have to trust she knows what she's doing. Red says I'm next. That I'll inherit her gift. I really don't know what that's supposed to mean. I'm not sure I want to inherit mom's gifts. <sighs> yeah, gifts are not all they're cracked up to be. boys in school I'd like to place a hex on. Oh, that sounded really bad, right? A little bit. Yeah, little... little... You're wondering why all this evil came visiting us out here in the middle of nowhere. It sure ain't the climate. There's a local legend, and like most local legends, it's probably true, about a war between good and evil that took place on this island a thousand years ago. Our tribe fought invaders from the south who tried to awaken the darkness that sleeps below our mountains. We fought bravely, but they were many and powerful. And we were close to I still can't get over it. Mayans. The sea came to our aid. I've heard this story a million times. It's and Vikings. All white gods bearing a magical sword. Why are the gods always white and male? <coughs> what? It's a valid question, and one you should definitely ask someone else some other time. Well, the you know, I'm a weapon, only one of those. With powerful magic inscribed in stones, 
Your grandfather knew how this magic worked, but that knowledge died with him. Whatever the rest of the tribe knew, they did a hell of a job forgetting. The answer to how our ancestors fought the enemy could be in those stones. We could certainly use a few gods on our side right about now. <laughs> they're here, Mom. At least they're not all white. Or male. A few more weeks of this, and I'll even be ready for that fishing trip upstate my uncle's been threatening to take me on. All I have to watch is what I brought with me when we came here to stay with Uncle Red. And anything with zombies or werewolves is off limits. I just can't get into a story that has a pretty girl falling for a hot vampire anymore. It feels very wrong. You get used to it. And there's nothing Wait. around here. It's like no vampires. Authors and poetry Skeptical and eyebrow raise. And I've had more than enough of both. I didn't mean the thing about the fishing trip. I think it'll be nice once this is all over. Uncle Red and me, we get along. He's teaching me to play chess right now. Oh God, I want to get out of here so bad. I feel you, kid. I wish there were more of us here. Not just Mom and me and Uncle Red, but others from the tribe. Or even better, that we could just move to the trailer park. But no, that's impossible. Because you know, there's this big disagreement in the tribe. And nobody talks to anybody anymore. I know someone did something bad to someone else like 40 years ago. I think it had to do with my grandfather, but that was like 40 years ago. You'd think they'd be over it by now. You don't know much about grudges, kid. It's always the younger generations that suffer. Just work it out. Mom tried I mean, you're, you're, she's right, but it's never that simple. Yeah. After 40 years, it actually becomes harder. Yeah. Just goes all quiet and serious Hell, after five years, it becomes harder. Mm. I mean, I like Uncle Frank and Uncle Joe. <laughs> They're a bit gross, but <laughs> kind of funny. And old Joseph is pretty cool, too. He's good at telling stories, even though he gets pretty long-winded at times. I just don't get it. We're family. We should be able to at least talk to each other. Guys, you should really listen to her. She's smart. Yeah, li listen to the kid. Hmm, let's see. Those are runes. That they are. Those are just a tiny bit incongruous. Take note of those, whether they are. Yeah, I've got to have the, have the secret Illuminati technology of a screenshot. Ah. <sighs> I used to be able to just like, you know, make like holographic storages of, you know, whatever image you were looking at. Now I just gotta press print screen. I, I almost miss it. Well, time to go through this tunnel.